Here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. Fix the ship. Hi guys. How are you doing? How have you been doing? How's my YouTube buddies? I am at the laundromat getting my freaking laundry done. And I figured since I haven't been in town in freaking forever other than for supplies that I would say hi to you and have a heart to heart talk about some shit that's been on my mind. So what's up? I pretty much stopped making my videos uh, three months ago. I think it's been about three months. And um, yeah, I did my live stream for my land shoot a couple weeks ago, I guess. It was pretty freaking blurry. Uh, I did it at night. I did it in the evening, so reception's always shittier in the evening than it is during the day. So I might try that again sometime. I don't know. Probably not. I missed the live streams that I started. So, I want to tell you guys something, okay? I've always talked on here and shit, as you know about whatever's going on in my freaking life. Because you're my friendly friends. And I do not have any actual friends in reality, as you know. Not for lack of trying, I guess, lately. But I'm gonna tell you how this started, right? Because you know I was making my YouTube videos, I was rolling down that line, this is what happened. You guys know that I have been Put in self isolation for many, many years now. You've seen me when I started my YouTube journey. You know what's up, what's been going on. Well, whatever. I finally got my divorce, even though we were separated. We we're only together a year, pretty much. There was some back and forth. Since 2015, pretty much I have been on my own. Since 2021, straight up, I have been on my own other than a few months here and there, which you know about that because there are my videos. Anyhow, I have not ever dated in my life, as you freaking know. Been in three serious relationships, been a housewife since I was 17. I'll leave it at that. Never dated the three, don't come here, please don't come here. I'm all by myself here, so hopefully nobody shows up. Anyhow. So, I reached a point where I was ready to do the thing that people call dating. Because in the past, how it's been was back for the social media shit. You know, you just come across someone and it's immediate. It's just, it's love at first sight, it's love at first feel, it's all that. Okay. Well, we all change as we get older, so shit happens, we're changing, they're changing, shit goes wrong, shit's terrible, whatever. Be it as it may, I was ready to start dating. So, back in the end of September of last year, I started speaking to a gentleman who also makes YouTube videos, actually. And whatever, we talked for about a month. And then, you know, he was freaking messaging me every freaking day, sending me stuff from his videos before they came out. My dad had watched his channel before I watched his channel. So I was like teasing with my sister and my brother and just, I was just falling at, whatever, falling in love. Stupid, I know. So anyways, he was gonna come and meet me, come to my little homestead. I lived about five hours away and we had plans for, for a certain weekend, and then he like, I don't know, I, I told him I was going back to my land because I can help my sister with her, her new wedding venue that she's doing. And so, I, I had just got to my land and he's like, are you ready to see me? I hadn't even put my shit away, done my laundry, nothing. 
So that right there was already pressure, but whatever. I was like, okay. So I basically had like hours to get my freaking cabin cleaned up because I'd been gone and whatever. Get my mind prepared. So, okay. He leaves and then he gets there at like fucking 10 o'clock in the, in the evening. Whatever, he rolls up. He, oh, this is how, this is how it is. He like immediately want to fuck, okay? He like, we never met each other. And he just like wanted to fuck. So that right there was the end of everything. I freaking was scared. I had so much anxiety. I'm not scared of him like physically and shit, but just like mentally, because I am not all about that shit. I am looking for a husband. I'm, I'm ready to be a wife. I am ready to be a wife. I have spent years being worked on by God to prepare me and I'll still fail constantly. That's not the point. I know so much more than I did before and I am ready. Anyways, it was fucking terrible. It was fucking terrible. So that was that. So, crash and burn. Had a little heartache, whatever. Decided I was gonna try again. So, my Facebook is private. If I accept, I got my some of my YouTube buddies on there, some of you guys are on there, whatever. If I accept a man and he messages me, I ignore him. That is how I have been, I've even said that to you guys before, since, since I started using Facebook in fucking basically 2020. Literally, I ignore them. I don't look at people's fucking Facebook pages. I don't look at their photos. I don't. When I do talk to someone, I don't go back and look at who they've been. I go from day one, when we start speaking, who are you right now? That's how I roll. Because I'm not who I fucking was a year ago. So, I don't even look the fucking same as I was a year ago. Okay, so, I gave it a shot with this other dude. Backwoods boy, whatever. Took me deer hunting, got my fucking first deer this year. That motherfucker was a drinker. Okay, fine. Fine. Ended up in a really dangerous situation. He had three daughters, which... I'm not even going to that. Well, we ended up on the fucking Blue Springs River. He was fucking trashed. He... It, it was December. He drowned in us in his big boat on a, where the river was low. It was fucking terrifying. Alright? He set his fucking daughters in the water, in the water with their little legs and feet in fucking December to try to get me and him to fucking, you know, shimmy the fucking boat. I just said, this is not happening. This boat is not going anywhere. He fought me fucking tooth and fucking nail. His daughter was fucking crying. He had a five-year-old, I don't know, his oldest one was eight and the other ones were like five and three or something. So I was trying to like hold one of his daughters while I was fucking helping. Anyways, it, he fought, that guy fought me for three fucking hours. Three fucking hours. I said, we need to carry your daughters, find a place to cross this river and get them back to the truck before it gets dark. It's going to get cold. They are hungry. We have to get out of here now. You have to leave your boat because your boat is not worth your daughter's safety. They're worth whatever. He would not fucking do it. He was fucking trashed and, and uh, just regardless, it was fucking terrible. At one point I told him I was gonna kick his ass. Let's just leave it at that. He would not, he would not, he would not stop trying to get the boat out. Okay, anyways, it took almost four hours. We got the boat out, okay? My hands, my skeleton, my skeleton hand in here, my bones were fucking bruised for a month. Well, anyways, that shit didn't fucking work out. All right. Okay. Not to mention the fact that guys, uh, this, all right, this, I know I'm rambling right now, but whatever. Okay. This is what I want to talk to you guys about. Okay. I don't know what the fuck dating is supposed to be. From what I am, from what I am understanding, it is out there at this point is people want to like go shopping and they want to whatever meet you fuck you just fuck just fuck like fuck an animal just fuck and decide if they like you okay all right what the fuck no you ain't gonna be fucking me if you want to date me you meet me maybe instantly fall in love with me whatever but lust whatever maybe you lust me okay then 
you'll love me along the way, right? I'm sorry, but after about a month of fucking talking to someone, you're gonna love them or not. I'm sorry, you're gonna know whether or not you want them to be. I'm sorry, that's just the way I believe. In a month, you're gonna fucking know whether or not you. I mean, if you're spending a lot of time with them, it's just whatever. Here's my thing. What the fuck is dating? How do you fucking talk to and hang out with someone for a month and still not know whether you want them to be your man or your woman? How the fuck does that work out? It does not work out. So I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. I've reached a point where I'm pretty fucking miserable with myself. I have achieved my dream because of God helping me. I have been healed. The past is the past to me now. I don't have any mental baggage there. Yes, I have, you know, we all have issues, obviously, that we, it takes us a lifetime to continue working on because they don't go anywhere. They don't, you don't get healed in some areas. You just learn how to not let that stuff affect you or your loved ones. All right, so. I'm gonna try to keep making my YouTube videos. I know this is a talky talk one, but you're probably used to that shit. The point is, uh, I don't know how I'm supposed to, I don't know how I'm supposed to date. Like what, because what I'm, what I'm finding out is what the fuck people want to fuck. I do not want to fuck you. I do not want to meet you and fuck you. I want to wait until I'm married. I want to wait until my wedding night. Is that possible? Is that possible? If God says to do it, it obviously is possible. What does that mean? Does that mean nobody, no man would take a woman that he hasn't stuck his dick in her pussy to see if he loves the fucking way that tight motherfucker feels before he fucking takes her as a bride when he loves everything else about her? I don't fucking get this shit. Do we have to have sex to get married? I don't know. You tell me. You fucking tell me. Because these are the things I talk to God about. These are the things that I have questions about. And I don't understand this shit. I want to sin so fucking bad. I just want to get fucking wild. But I don't want to fuck. Sorry, I don't want to fuck. I, I mean, I, I want to... But you know, with, with my husband and shit, but I don't have a husband, obviously, so there's steps to be taken. What steps do, do I take? I've gotten rejected like four fucking times because I told these guys that they want to be friends and, and date. Friends and lovers. I said, I don't fuck my friends. I'm sorry, I don't I don't have sex with my friends. I'm like, ooh, there's an awesome freaking big black cat over there. I miss having a kitty. So anyways, I don't know what the fuck to do. I'm just saying. I am just fucking saying, maybe you guys have some fucking advice for me or what the fuck ever. Because my family told me, Catherine, it's time to get out there and date. I did. By the way, when I that, when I first started talking, that guy that I was talking about, that YouTuber. You know how fucking... Okay, whatever. I could deal with the heartbreak because I didn't love him. But my dad, my dad loved his YouTube channel. Religiously watched both of his fucking channels. And my dad was proud of me. My dad was fucking proud of me. Like, I had to fucking be like, no, dad, you know, it was just so fucking, I'm sick of fucking getting rejected because I don't want to fuck you. I don't want to fucking put that fucking cat ate the fucking canary smile on my face and have power over a fucking man using my fucking pussy. I don't need to have fucking pussy power. I want a man to feel my fucking love. I want a man to, I want a man, I want to be holy. I want to be pure. Obviously, I'm not, but I want to be. I try to be. I want a man to fucking... I want old school love. Dude, does anybody fucking love like that anymore? Do men even need their fucking women anymore because of fucking porn and every fucking goddamn thing else that's out there? You know how many fucking married men have tried fucking me in the past fucking four months? Have just fucking... Do you know the fucking... I do believe, yet I don't, yet I do. Fuck. 
I'm just saying. If you can make sense of this shit, I hope you can. If you can, comment, let me know. I've just, I've, I've spent too much time alone. I'm sick and fucking tired of myself. I'm doing good. Mentally, I'm doing great in life right now. I've, I'm, I'm so thankful for everything that I have. I, I love my land more every single day. I, I'm so thankful. But like I was saying on Facebook a couple weeks ago, last month, whatever, I, my land is my camp. It is my safe haven. It is where God brought me to heal me into the wilderness, to teach me where I am evil, where I'm fucked up and work on me and help me and so on and so forth. I have no blame for anybody in my fucking life. Even when there's terrible fucking shit that I'll never talk about, I don't care. There's no man that is completely evil. There is no woman that is completely evil. And there's no man or woman that's completely good either. So what the fuck ever. I am just saying my land and my little home are my camp. I am ready to, I will go to a man. I will take his home as my own. I will move to where my future husband is if I have, I just don't know how the fuck I'm supposed to take a step to doing anything when it comes to that lovey love. Cause I'm not fucking you. I'm not fucking you. You're not gonna get to fuck me unless you take me as your bride. So I'm not gonna talk too much longer. I mean, I'm, but I'm just saying, do you guys understand what I am saying? Do you, does anyone out there understand what the fuck I am saying? Am I supposed to just not? The Bible says there's now there's no condemnation for those who are in Christ. But then it turns around and says that is not then should we sin? God forbid. So if I'm just supposed to go around fucking all these fuckers that want to start talking to me so that they can fucking see, I know instantly. I'm sorry, I really literally do. I know instantly when I start, when I stand next to a man, uh, it's something in here I can't explain. I don't know if people love like that anymore. Like, do you fucking feel each other? Can you feel each other's fucking inside their inner man and woman can you fucking feel that fucking shit okay i'm just saying god forbid that i just go on a fucking rampage trying to fucking fall in love so i'm fucking stuck as fuck right now i don't have fucking sex toys i don't fucking like pleasing myself there you go there's my fucking torture right now. But I'm gonna fucking go. Uh, my clothes are still washing, but. Just fucking. Sorry for the weird shit, but fuck, you guys know. That's just how it is with me. I just had to talk about this. I don't even know what the fucking video is still recording. Uh, anyways, I'm. I popped my fucking tire. Didn't leave my land for fucking three weeks. Got a new tire the other day. I'm ready to roll. I'll come in here and I'll upload my fucking videos and shit. I've been in the woods a shitload. I fucking just. I love you. I love you guys. I miss you. Just, uh. Can you make sense of it? Take it easy. Don't come easy.